Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Let's Play Blood Omen. We went to the wrong bat beacon. I know, I know, you're saying, Vertical Sandwich, you never make mistakes! I know. This is the bat beacon we want. Alright. So, uh, yes, the moon cave is the slow time spirit forge. And, uh, I don't think we're too worried about that. I don't think all 100 secrets alters the ending of this game at all. So there we go. That is the Slow Time Spirit Forge. Which, by the way, we've never used Slow Time. Maybe I should equip it. So now, from here, we actually fly to Willendorf. Which I know I shouldn't have done, but... Like... I mean, I know I should have done right away, but we didn't. Okay. Willendorf it is. So that's pretty cool. It would seem that only those of noble lineage were allowed to pass through the illustrious gates of Willendorf Castle, and the enchantment I had cast with my disguise was not enough to fool these soldiers of hope. I would need a stronger illusion to beguile them. Okay, time for a stronger illusion to beguile them. Which is actually kind of fairly easy. Okay, there's a house up there all by itself. Alright. Ta-da! So, there's another secret. This is the back door to the Slow Time Spirit Forge. Which we will use because we can. Shed your blood for me, and these artifacts will be yours. So, you come to the Spirit Forge for help, do you, vampire? Trade your secrets for the blood of the dead, I will. <laughs> Alright, we got some time things. Now we have to do this. Not that. Oh, that's a pretty good instinct. Alright. Onward. But we have a lot of slow times, which now I have to remember to use because we've never used it. So, anyway. We'll use it in the, uh, the home of the doll maker. So now we go out. And... See, this is that place we were. Wow, Vertical Sandwich, you're so insightful. I know. I know. I'm all the information you'll ever need. Okay, fly to Willendorf. Don't need the dumb cutscene again. Just need to get out of here. Get out of here. Out of here! Maybe we can dodge this guy. He's very... Oh, yeah, we got him. Because we want to kill him. He's a waste of time. All three of these guys are a waste of time. I mean, you end up having the chaos armor do all your work for you. And then you take... Once you can suck blood from them, you've taken more damage than you get. So they literally are. Like, it's it's no net gain here. 
Now there are things in the houses here in town. I haven't really explored them. I don't need any more anything, really. I'm gonna spend most of the late game just using the pencil of the tarot all the time. Because it clears the screen. <laughs> okay, so that's a problem. Let's go into Grumble's Anvil before we get murdered. Whoa! Hey, Grumble, leave me alone, man. I did nothing to you guys. And there's nothing in here. I killed you all for nothing. Hope you're happy. We don't want to heal, because we're actually going to a blood fountain. The blood fountain of illusion. Well, the cave of illusion. It's up here. Die, lady. Ha! You almost got me! Too bad you can't go from screen to screen. Yeah, that cave. It's in town, by the way. It's just a cave in town. Although, one of the things I didn't check out when we were running around was this house down here. I checked out that house a little further up, so let's check out this one down here and see if there's anything fun in here. As I remember, people will have to kill because they try to slap us. Oh, well, there's that. And that. Font of putrescence. And beds. Okay. So we could sleep and turn people into worm puddles. Sure. Sure. So it's serious. That's my idea of a weekend. So I'm going to take a week off work and go sleep and turn people into putrescence. Putrescence. All right. Anyway, we're moving upward. And rightward. Mighty Willendorf had sliced open the belly of the earth, reaping a... Blah, blah, blah. We heard that before. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. So this is a cave of illusion with a save point in it. And all these just, like, minor enemies. You don't even, like, you literally don't, you don't even break a sweat. These guys are the opposite of a challenge. These are, like, guys from Kane's Crypt. Like, you start this game with the weakest weapon, and these are the guys you have to fight. And then they just, like, put them back in here. I guess because they're angry, normal villagers. And there's something to be said for just how normal people fight you. Like, honestly, they only have, I mean, they have shovels. And no armor. So you would expect, I mean, if we're fighting, like, knights that belong to, like, royalty, that uh, the guy with a pickaxe is going to die pretty quick, right? We have a sword that sets things on fire. Which also, no more knights of blood and fire, people. No more nights of blood and fire. I always thought we'd be together. That our love could not be better. But with no warning, you were gone. I still don't know what went wrong. The blood of ages flows so sweet. Come drink from us. Unlike the Mask of Disguise, this spell actually allows me to cast away the guise of death for a time, allowing me to walk among the living undisturbed. The spell also provides a visage of nobility, for there are many who would easily divulge more to those of highborn blood. I didn't know there was a north a exit from this. My walkthrough didn't mention it. Oh. Interesting. <coughs> Why was this not mentioned walkthrough? Just like, hey, you can save here. That's what it said. It literally just said that. Hey, you can save here. I mean, I get it. It makes, it, like, my walkthrough actually makes an announcement where it's like, hey, by the way, you've got all the stuff you need, so I'm not really going to bother with things anymore. But, like, still, this is cool. There are mine carts. I can freeze these guys with two hits of the mace. That's a little ridiculous. Oh, come on. I know that this can be broken. <laughs> hey, 
Hey! <laughs> Fine, just die. <laughs> Alright, well, we're definitely full on that. But is there a rune triangle here? I could really use a rune triangle. I mean, not really, but... It would be nice to get one just to show that this is done. Hey! <laughs> well, I guess these aren't really hiding a lot of stuff, huh? Okay. I think there's a rune triangle up there. <laughs> that is my guess, anyway. Yes! Alright, I don't know if that actually changed anything. Man, hitboxes on these guys. So we're definitely full up on stuff now, without a doubt. <laughs> This is not the shortest uh, appended dungeon I've ever seen. Yeah, by the way, when people get in your way like that, there's nothing you can do. Like, you can't move the card or anything. I don't care about that one stupid flay. Ah, You were annoying. Well, whatever, dude. Now I'm out of here. Whoa! Where am I? This is nuts. This is like a huge, complicated thing. Wow, there's blood flying everywhere there. That was great. Wow, what is going on here? This is like the world's most complicated dungeon. Spiked mace. Oh, man. Like, I mean, I know it's not super complicated, but I just walked in, drank from the fountain, and walked out. <laughs> My practice file had nothing on this. Nothing. Okay. Well, I got past that guy, but I can't really... There we go. We just eat past, I think. Alright, come here, jerk. Ah! I said come here. And I meant it. Apparently these pillars are just for show. Okay, our exit's there. Please be the last room. I'm kind of over time already. Oh, really, guys? Come on! There. So many rooms to this dumb thing. This... Hugely dumb thing. I mean, I got a lot of flays now and fonts of putrescence, and I pushed a lot of minecarts. Which I know everybody was just like, hey, vertical sandwich. When are you gonna push more minecarts? Why isn't this more like Jack and Daxter? Well, I don't know, you don't actually push a lot of minecarts in Jack and you just ride them. Alright, we're gonna save. When we come back, we'll have saved and savey, savey, save. Thank you guys for watching, because I know you don't have to do it. I do appreciate it. And you guys take care of yourselves. Bye, everybody.